this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and creating costumes as much as I do, you may want to subscribe because I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank, maybe even using some items you already have at home. In today's episode, we will be recreating Sailor Moon from the long-running Japanimation series, Sailor Moon. Let's get started. This is the completed Sailor Moon costume, and I say completed because this is a store-bought costume, but there was a lot of things that I had to do to kind of make it what it is now. Fix it, if you will. It's a decent costume, and it was reasonably priced, but there were some things wrong with it when I received it. In order to fix it and make it look less cheap, there were quite a few things that I had to do. The first order of business was to iron the entire outfit. It came in, it was so wrinkled. So I took it out of the package and I ironed all of the different parts of it, including the ribbons. There's this ribbon in the front and there's one in the back just above the skirt. I did that first and then I created the boots. So these were boots that I already had. They're above the knee, kind of a sexy boot. I wore these for the Scarlet Witch. And what I did was I just cut and hot glued some white felt to the top, sort of in a point. And then I created these little moons using cardstock. It was like a shiny cardstock material and cut the moons out of this cardstock and made it double-sided so that it was more durable and then just hot glued them onto the boot as well. The gloves left a lot to be desired so I had to kind of take them in a little bit. They were a very funky shape like <laughs> it didn't look like it was made for a human hand so I just took them in a little bit where there was excess material for the gloves. For the neck piece or the choker it came in and it was very rough edged. It it wasn't hemmed or anything. It had a very small moon just printed onto the material, a yellow moon. So I made another shiny moon out of my cardstock and just hot glued that on. And I hemmed the material. Also, since I hemmed it, it was very small, didn't stretch anymore, so I added in some elastic to the back. When I got the headpiece, it had a much smaller stone and it came right off. It was just hot glued on. So I had this larger stone and I sewed it on so that I wouldn't have any mishaps or anything with it popping off. And also it's a larger stone. It just looks nicer. And that's pretty much all I did. Uh, this collar piece was just on a piece of elastic that wasn't together or anything so I sewed in an extra piece of elastic to extend it a little bit so that I could wear it kind of like a, a faux bow tie and just wrap it around and under the collar here. But that's it. That's the finished completed costume. I think it turned out great. It's going to look really cute. With this I'm going to wear I always say when I do something magical I wear these pantyhose because they're, they're studded so I'm going to wear these. I think she's kind of magical. And these earrings that I bought. And then I bought these hair pieces and the wig all came from Amazon. These were separate orders, so you can get these. These are clips that she wears in her hair. These are very sturdy and well made. I thought they were gonna be foam and they're actually hard, really nice looking pieces. So that was a really good find. And then the wig I got from Amazon as well. But that's it, that's our costume. Let's get our makeup on. It's makeup time. <laughs> I've got most of my costume on, as you can see, but there's a reason for that. So all of this stuff has to either be pulled onto your head or over your head, and you're not gonna wanna do that once you have your makeup on, if that makes sense. You want to put anything on that has a tighter neckline. This costume actually does have a zipper, but it's like about this long and it's on the side. So you're still gonna have to force your head through this little hole here. And it's, I mean, if you have all of your makeup on, it's gonna be hard to do without messing your makeup up. So I put everything on that I had to pull over my face. And this is the headband. You're not gonna be able to 
pull this over the wig. This is gonna have to go on before your wig because it is snug fit. Uh, you're not gonna have really enough extra elasticity to go over the entire wig. So put this on before your wig. I've got my earrings on and uh, that's it. All we need to do is put our gloves, boots, and wig on after this and we'll be set. For this one, I'm gonna make my eyebrows, I think, a little bit higher, a little more cartoonish. So I'm gonna just do the, the old get rid of my eyebrows trick. You'll notice that I do have contact lenses in, but that's not, you don't have to do the contacts. Like if you're not comfortable wearing contacts, that's totally optional. Like you don't have to wear contacts. I do it because it's just a little extra and I'm extra. If you've been watching my videos, you know that. But if you're new here, now you know. <laughs> I wear contacts with a lot of my costumes because it just takes it to the next level. This was a little bit of a different video just because it was all about taking a store-bought costume and making it look better than it looked when you received it. Improving it a little bit and um, just making subtle changes that will take your costume to the next level. It's not necessarily, I didn't make this costume. I don't make a lot of my costumes. I do buy a lot of store-bought stuff and put it together. And part of the reason is it's not much different than the price at Goodwill these days. I mean, everything right now is expensive. So I'm just hoping things get better so that things are a little more affordable in the near future. I've glued my eyebrows down using an upward motion and now I'm just pressing the powder in. Cause this is how Maddie said to do it. A friend of mine. Hope she's doing good. She was just in a pageant, a drag pageant and I think she got in third place or something, but that's pretty dang good. And kudos, you know, for putting putting herself out there like that. I, I did beauty pageants when I was younger and um, I did pretty good. I did pretty good. Uh, my mom had me in all of them. Any that were coming to town at the time, she had me signed up in it. And uh, at one point I was Little Miss Odessa, just so you know, <laughs> Odessa, Florida and um, won a few other titles. I always killed it in the talent competition because a lot of the other girls didn't really have a talent, which was um, hard to believe. I only remember a few girls having any kind of talent to be in the talent competition. So I, I had a one up on everybody for sure. I'm just waiting for this to dry a little bit and then I'm gonna put another layer and press a little more powder and then we're good. Now that I've kind of muted my eyebrows a lot, I'm just going to add a little foundation. And I'll put more powder to blend. So who's a fan of anime out there? Because I'm not really. <laughs> I love the costumes and I like the idea of Japanese animation. I think it's totally different than anything else. It's definitely unique. I never, I just never really got into it. But I'm sure, like, there's some really cool stuff. It's definitely a fun cosplay. If you go to do, like, Comic-Con or anything like that, anime is always a good go-to for cosplay. And then a lot of people really actually know it and are, are anime, care, anime fans. Don't come for me because I'm not. I just, you might think it's blasphemy, like, even doing this costume, but it's a cute costume. Sailor Moon kind of reminds me of a cross between Rainbow Bright and Wonder Woman. So I think she's kind of a cool character and I'm glad I'm doing her. She'll be part of my anime playlist if you want to check that out. I only have two on there so far. Wicked Woman and Sailor Moon. And they're both from Sailor Moon because that's really the one I'm most familiar with. I plan to do more. I thought about doing Olkiora Cypher, I think it's called because that dude's just really cool looking and I think I already have a wig for it, but it's also very complicated. So if I can figure out how to do him, I might. But if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments below. I may not get to it right away, but I'll definitely look at it and see if it's something that I can come up with or pull off. I'll add it to the list of things to do. So I'm just putting powder over my eyebrows that I just did. I'm just putting powder 
over my eyebrows now that I just did to blend a little bit. And I think it's pretty good. Turned out pretty good. Here's what I wasn't sure of. Should I do a brown brow or black? And I think she has just like a black line for a brow. So I think I'm gonna go that route. Plus I have a black pencil sitting right here. So hopefully it'll be great. Ooh. It's gonna go like that, very thin. I was torn between whether I wanted to do the really big anime eye and do it over my natural eye. And I might do that sometime, but because I have these contact lenses and I basically bought them for this costume and a few others, I'm just going to do the contacts this time. But sometime when I do a character, I may actually do the big eye that, you know, when you close the eye, you see like a bigger eye, an illusion, if you will. I did that with my Minnie Mouse costume and I was reluctant to do it then, but it actually turned out pretty good. I'm just going to go over this with my black liquid liner, get a little precision going on. I just did the same to the other side and I know it looks crazy right now, but just kind of trust the process. It's, it looked good. I think it looked good. I never really know what they're going to look like, especially with costumes that I never done before, but I just, I see it like I see it in pictures. And then I just try to copy what I see in the pictures and that's it. You know, and it's not rocket science or anything like that. I'm just doing what I can based off what I've seen. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a cat eye on the upper lid. We want to get kind of dramatic with it because we're trying to make our eyes look bigger than they actually are. And the contacts actually help with that too. Now we're just going to do that to the other eye. There they both are. Now we're going to, what I want to do first is go ahead and line my waterline with a white pencil. It could be any pencil. This is actually the Ben Nye Magic Color Cream Pencil, which I highly recommend. It's just kind of more pigmented, it goes on smoother than your regular ones you get at the grocery store. Um, or. Walgreens, DVS, whatever you got going on, Kroger. <laughs> I'm just going to line my waterline with this white pencil. That's going to make my eyes look a little bigger. And once I do my waterline, I want to go underneath a little bit too. See how they kind of look a little bigger? Now we're just going to like do kind of a little line underneath. And you do want it to kind of be a line and not blended too much. So we're going to go under that with black and I think that's going to really make the eyes look. See now when we go under it with our black, it should really look bigger, like bigger eyes. Let's see what happens. So we're going to go just to the, just to the end where our waterline begins and we're going to draw a black line underneath. I think that looks pretty awesome. And then at the end here, we get to the end, just at the end, we're gonna draw a couple of superficial bottom lashes, which will bring it out even more. So we're gonna do a longer one on the end and then a shorter one, just like that. And then we're gonna do the other side exactly the same way. We are here. Now I'm gonna put on a little bit of blush and then there's a couple marks on the cheeks that I'm gonna do. Now you can do what I did. I did a little cheat sheet. <laughs> so here is the eye, the way the eye kind of looks on her with a little bit of a cat eye and wispies on the end. These are the bottom lashes. These are the marks on the cheeks and this is the nose and mouth. I just kind of drew it as a reference so I could remember what I was doing. But I kind of do that sometimes. I did it with Minnie Mouse and uh, some others, so I can more easily just see what I'm what I'm going for. I'm gonna do a rosy cheek, so pink on the cheeks. All the characters in anime, in my opinion, are very 
innocent looking. I know there's some anime that's not very innocent. <laughs> I know about that. <laughs> Don't ask me how, but I do. Um, but this particular one is pretty innocent. So I got a nice pinky blush on. I still haven't decided how I'm gonna do my nose, but I think I'm just gonna do a little contouring, make it look a little thinner, shorter, cuter. So on our cheeks, she has like a, just a couple lines on the cheeks. Smile marks, whatever they may be. They go a little something like this. Easy peasy. And then, this is similar to the Candyland Mr. Mint costume that we just did. She doesn't have any lipstick on. Her lips are just plain, so I'm gonna use a concealer for her lips. And if you do go out, you might wanna bring a concealer with you in your purse or whatever, so that you can reapply when you need to. Also, your Ben Nye Final Seal, that should keep it on your lips too. I was just talking about this with a friend the other day. Final Seal is basically seals on all of your makeup. So if you're going out for hours and you don't want to constantly be reapplying your makeup, you can score some final seal on your face and it will seal that makeup on. It may rub off eventually or come off here and there, but it's not going to come off as aggressively as it might in this heat and everything. I don't know about you, but in Florida, it's like 150 degrees outside. So you might have a better chance of keeping your makeup on with some final seal. In fact, you will have a better chance. So I'm just finishing up my face really quick and then I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put my eyelashes on last. I am doing lashes and I think that's just gonna really bring it home. We're supposed to go to a cemetery today in Zephyr Hills, which is about an hour away from us, but it's so dang hot outside. I don't wanna do anything but get in my pool and cool off. It's, I mean, the second you walk out, you've got a sweat mustache. It's crazy. I have a little contour palette. This is Kat Von D. Don't mind the mess. I belong to my son before I kind of stole it back. And uh, he doesn't use that anyway. I'm just going to contour a little bit. The sides of my nose, making it look more narrow, hopefully. Just doing this with a Q-tip. Very fuzzy one. I hate when they do that. And then I'm gonna blend all of this in in hopes that it makes me look a little more Sailor Moon. And now she has a little, a little triangle right under here. There we go. I think it looks pretty good. Wait till we get the eyelashes on. I think it's gonna look pretty good. I'm so surprised. Now, um, because I haven't done this costume before, you know, and every time I do a new costume, I'm always a little like eek i hope it turns out good and uh i think this one will i think it really will i think my ghost thing is a little aggressive for this application <laughs> i'm gonna put a little concealer on my nose kind of bring out that part of my nose maybe using a little of the the white color in this palette too on the end of the nose make our nose glow a little bit it did make the nose look more chiseled have a more chiseled appearance which i wanted more pointed and I think it looks great. I've put my mascara on and these are the eyelashes I chose to use. They're the same ones that I did for Miss Piggy. They're kind of crazy but I think they're gonna be perfect because they kind of have that curl up on the end. That's them. And I had put my glue on my eyelashes just above and I'm just laying this on top. Let's see. <laughs> it's crazy. It did. It worked. Let's get the other one. It's been a while since I've had these on. So there are a couple cat hairs stuck to them. 
seriously. I lay my costumes out on my dining room table and those little nut, nut cases jump up there on, at night and lay on top of my costume. Out of all the places in the house to lay, they gotta lay on top of my costumes. I don't get it. I think it looks great. Let's get the rest of our costume one. Sailor Moon is all dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. The Sailor Moon series has all kinds of different characters and costumes you could do as a group costume, or it's just another animated series that has a whole lot of options when it comes to group costumes. You can go as a whole group of anime characters. Just an idea. I will hopefully be doing some more anime in the future. If you have any ideas, leave them in the comments section down below because I'm kind of lost when it comes to anime, but I will definitely entertain the idea of more anime. I even have an anime playlist, like I mentioned before. So please give me ideas. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share the video. And I'll see you next time.